Hi DIYers, this is Michael from Alarm Grid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to power cycle your hardwired alarm system, your hardwired security system, uh, such as a Honeywell Vista system, an Interlogix Networks panel, a DSC Power Series panel, a DSC Power Series Neo, um, lots of wired alarm systems out there. But power cycling, um, it's basically a power cycle reset, this is another term. It's basically just powering down the system and then powering it back on. The full power cycle, power off and then back on. Now there are a few reasons you might power cycle your wired alarm system. Uh, just like if your phone or your computer was giving you trouble and you powered it down and then powered it back on, did a reboot to try to get it to work, your alarm system might be the same way. If you were having problems with your wired alarm system and it's not working the way you want it to, it's glitching out, then you might do a quick power cycle to see if that fixes the problem. Another reason you might do this, if you're installing new hardware, such as a communicator or a keypad, you're wiring a new sensor to your, your wired system, then uh, you want to have the system powered down as you make hardware changes. So you would power down, wire in what you need to add to the system, and you know once you're finished wiring, then you power the system back on and you see that your equipment uh, works as it's supposed to. Um, so with a wired system, uh, unlike a wireless system, there's not usually a menu option to where you can do a reboot. Um, a lot of the wireless systems will have a menu option somewhere that you can press to reboot the system. Uh, with a wired system, uh, it's not usually the case. Um, you actually have to manually cut power and then manually restore it, which I'm, I'm going to show you here. Um, and do not confuse um, this uh, power cycle reset with uh, a factory reset or factory defaulting, which would involve um, uh, resetting the system so it's all its settings are set to their factory default configurations. You would have to reprogram the system from scratch, um, which is pretty inconvenient. So you usually only do that under um, extreme circumstances. If you're not using the system anymore, you're giving it away, or if um, uh, there's something severely wrong with your system and you needed a last resort troubleshooting step. There might be something you do, but the power cycle reset is a lot more forgiving. Um, it's just an easy way to you know, fix an issue or, if you, like I said, if you have to install new hardware. And uh, one thing just to keep in mind, um, when you uh, do this, if your system's in an armed state and you power down and you, you never disarm it, um, you just power down and then power back on, you won't be able to cheat the system and get it to be in a disarmed state. It will still be armed when you load the system back up. I'm not going to show you that, but I just wanted to mention that um, real quick, um, just because you know, if you, if you think you, get, you move into a new home, for instance, and you think, well, if I power it down and then power it back on, then maybe I can clear the, the arming state and get the system disarmed. It's not going to work, so um, just something to keep in mind. But we have our Vista system here. We have a tuxedo connected. Um, the reason the tuxedo is connected, uh, well, it's to, it's to control the system, really. But really, it's also, in this case, it's to see that the system is powered on right now. So that's, that's a very good benefit of this exercise. We can see that our system is powered on because the connected tuxedo is powered on. The screen is lit up and displayed. But if we want to power down the system, we need to do two things. We need to cut AC power, and we need to cut battery power. And it doesn't matter which order we do this. Um, so let's start by cutting AC power. In this case, we have a Honeywell LT cable um, connected to the power terminals here, and we can undo the barrel connection. And you see the system does stay on because we still have battery power. Um, but if you have a Honeywell LT cable, that's an easy way to do that. If you don't have the luxury of a Honeywell LT cable, then you can consider unplugging the transformer from the outlets. Um, it might look something like this, especially if you have a Vista system, the beige coloring very common for the Vista system. So um, just unplug it from the outlet. Or uh, you can cut power at the circuit breaker. That's another option. What you don't want to do is you don't want to um, undo the terminals while the system's powered on. That's, that's kind of a no-no. So don't take out your screwdriver and start taking out your um, power connections there. Don't do that. Um, if you have a Honeywell LT cable, do what we did. Or you can unplug the transformer or do it at the circuit breaker. They're all great options. But we still have one more step of powering down the system. We have to disconnect battery power, which um, I like to take the positive connection here, the red wire, and we can just pull it right off. And that came off very easily, but we have it disconnected. And you see our system is no longer powered on. Uh, we need to power it back on, complete the power cycle. Now with a wired alarm system, the general practice is to restore AC power first and then battery power second. That's different from a wire wireless system. Wireless system, it's battery power first and then AC power second. Um, but we, our system will boot right up after we do AC power. So we're going to do AC power first. We're going to plug in the LT cable again. If you did a transformer, transformer, then plug it back into the outlet. Did the circuit breaker, um, restore power to the circuit breaker, and 
Remember, don't do that. Uh, don't take out the, the terminals there. But um, we also want to restore battery power because right now, if there was an electrical outage, we wouldn't be monitored. Our system would power down. So we want to restore our battery connection. We're just going to take it and plug it back in. So now battery power is restored. And as I probably should have pointed out a second ago, you see our keypad is, um, it was lighting up before I did the battery. Um, so we know we were getting batter, um, AC power to the system. The system was powering back on. And that is the power cycle. That's how you power cycle your wired system. You have to do the full cycle. You have to power it down and then power it back on the full cycle. So that is how you power cycle your wired alarm system. It's the same general process, whether you're using a Vista, a Power Series, Interlogix, um, Concord, uh, what have you. Um, they, they're pretty much all the same general process. You cut AC power, you cut battery power, and then you power back on with AC power first and battery power second. So that's how you power cycle your hardwired security system. If you have any questions about security systems or alarm monitoring services, if you have any questions about AlarmGrid, uh, send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.